guys, how are we doing? Friday morning. It's about 9.20. I'm heading out to Goodwill. I wanted to be there already, but I got a little bit of a slow start. Anyway, got two packages going out. Just a Wii game and a book. They sold overnight while I was sleeping. Book sold for $17.95. Goes out media mail. And the other one's just a Wii game. Sold for like seven bucks. And that's just in a bubble envelope going out first class. So I'm gonna stop, get some money at the machine, and then we're gonna hit Goodwill, and um, hopefully a few other stores. All right, I'm at my first stop, the Goodwill near my house. 9.30 in the morning, there's about three people in here. Well, they've gotten rid of a lot of non-selling inventory, because these racks were so stuffed you couldn't even see. They got rid of a lot of purses, and that whole stuffed animal, the plush rack was so full, it was overflowing. Yeah, these racks were overflowing. They did a major clean out. What a shame. Le Crisette teapot, all messed up. All right, nothing at Goodwill today. They really cleaned out those shelves, all the hard goods, pocketbooks, shoes, very bare now. Well, I don't want to say bare, but before those shelves were in, racks were so stuffed that you had like really hard times looking at things. It was crazy. So they got rid of a lot of stuff. I guess it went off to the bins. Ooh, just had a sale pop up. Ah, it's just a book on eBay. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go to another store down the street. It's a local one, the food pantry store. And hopefully find something there. I'm probably gonna scan books there too because my books on eBay have been selling like crazy. Turned on my repricer and I'm selling like probably four or five books a day which you know for books is good so let's go over there all right I'm at the next place this place supports a food pantry I'm sure you've heard me mention it in other videos and I would rather give my money to this type of place than Goodwill any day that's why I like my local ones I have three local thrift stores this one is a food pantry that they support there's one that supports um, like HIV and AIDS and there's one that supports a drug rehab. So, much better than Goodwill. Found two Pyrex measuring cups. One is an eight ounce, one is a quart. This little eight ounce sells for more than that one. This big one sells for about 10 bucks, and they want 450. The little one, Pyrex 508, they want two bucks, and it sells for about 15, 18 dollars. I've sold that little one before, so I'll be getting that. There's a couple of cool etched BMW beer mugs. I just spotted this, I haven't looked it up yet. La Crisette butter dish. Let's see if it's worth anything. All right, I'm gonna have to pass. They only sell for about 20, but it looks like the handle is broken. All right, I did okay in there. The only thing I got out of the thrift part really was the Pyrex glass. The, I think it's number 508, the measuring cup, for two bucks. And they sell for about 15 to 18. And I went and I scanned books. I did all right. I got like 10 or 11 books. Some good profit. When I get home, I'll show you everything. I'm going to go buy one more store. All right, going into the next store. They tend to be a little expensive, but their books are only a dollar. So that's what I'm going to be looking at mostly. Now here's the difference in stores. This one has a Toomey briefcase. Kind of distressed. Like I said before I went in, that place is high priced. 45 bucks on that Toomey bag. I mean, I get it at the store down the street. I get them for, you know, 8 to 12 bucks average. But anyway, I got three more books. That was it. So I'm probably going to carry this video over. My phone's about to die. So I'm going to carry this into tomorrow morning. I think there's only like one or two yard sales. Right now, season's dead. It's the heat of the summer down here in South Florida. So I'm going to go one or two yard sales maybe. And then one more thrift store that I was planning on going to today. So we'll keep this going. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, we're back. Saturday morning, 8 o'clock. Um, I have one yard sale to go to. Season is pretty much dead right now in South Florida. Treasure map app, when I used to turn it on, and when it first comes on, it would say, you know, X amount of sales within a 20 mile radius. And say back in like March, April, it used to be between 250 and 300 sales. It was insane. 
Today, it says like 30. And literally, within like a few miles of me, there's only one. And I know so for some people, that's like nothing, that you drive far to get to sales. But where I live, you know, it's very populated, so you don't have to go far. But there's one sale, and I'm going to hit possibly Goodwill, and then another store as well. And right now, I got three things. Actually, four. Another one just popped in. I got four sales from last night that I need to pack up. You know, oddly enough, three books sold. And this is on eBay. Now, I know I always say I sell books on Amazon, but I don't have to do nothing for those. I just send them an FBA. But three books on eBay in one day. That's pretty odd. But let me show you, and I'll pack them up. All right, so I got three books. Michelle Obama book, another book, and then a Bible. And then this, this morning, just like 15 minutes ago, this Ford emblem. And I just showed you in the last video, I picked up two of these at Goodwill for a dollar. And I paid one dollar for this book, and it sold for $8.95, and it sold in two days. Same with this one, I paid one dollar, sold for $9.95, and I listed them together at the same time, sold within two days. Paid a dollar for this Bible, sold for $17.95, and it took about two to three weeks to sell. Paid 50 cents at Goodwill for this emblem, and it sold for $11.95, and it took about two or three days. Not big money, but books on eBay do sell people. So I know everybody talks about selling books on Amazon like I do, but the ones that I cannot sell, on, either they're gated or the price drops out before I send it in, I'll put them on eBay. And you can still turn a dollar, which is what you spend, you know, at libraries or thrift stores on a book. You can still turn that dollar into five, ten, fifteen dollars. So books are sellers, but you gotta know how to source them. That's a whole new topic. So the Bible I got in the bag, and I just put two sides of cardboard to protect it, and it's just going in a vinyl mailer. And for these two other two, they're heavier and bigger, so I'm just putting them in these. When I ever get stuff from Amazon, I always keep the prime envelopes. They're bubble and they're nice and tough, so I'm just going to use these. I've done it plenty of times with books, no problem on eBay. All right, so right before I left, my wife called me. My son, my youngest son, he's 15, just came in from a six-day Caribbean cruise. His friend's mom works for the cruise line, and they got to go on a free cruise, so it was pretty nice. But nice thing is it's right here at the harbor and the port where the cruise ships go out of is in Fort Lauderdale. So she had to go pick him up at the house, and... They live in a neighborhood right near the water. And she saw a couple of yard sale signs that are not advertised anything. So it looks like I got a few more to go to. So I'm gonna swing by there first. Hey, how are you? Find anything good? Found you? Is this That's your, pretty is this good. This your first sale today? Your first stop? Um, yeah, I'm, um, no, I'm, I mean, I was at the flea market. Oh, were you already? Yeah, wow. Well, I get there at six, so. Oh jeez. Well, I woke up so early, you know. I yeah. Kind of That's how I am. I can't just sit there. Yeah, me too. All right. So you if I go this way, can I go back to the Thank you. Thank you for everything. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later. I didn't get anything at the first sale. The guy I stopped and talked to for a second, he's one of the familiar faces I see at Goodwill every morning. I just pulled up to the second one. Let's go see what they got. Nothing good for resale. So I'm gonna go, it's 9.20. I think I'm gonna go by Goodwill, do my quick run through. Then I'm gonna go to the one thrift store. 
that I lo it's a local one that I wanted to go to yesterday and then get around to doing it. Here's a nice CD Sony player with speakers. But look what Goodwill does. They're right the price. Will it come out? Maybe, maybe not. All right, quick recap. I got, went to Goodwill. I got two items out of there. A book and then a Pelican case. I'll show it to you. Small one, but it doesn't look like it was ever used. And then I just came to this other thrift store. And this one supports a drug rehab program. Usually it's, everything's marked really cheap, but a lot of junk, hard to find some good stuff. Didn't find anything, so I scanned their bookshelves and um, hit some nice books. And one textbook, I put the, I put it on my Instagram today. Well, it's Saturday, you won't see this until probably next week. But if you don't follow my Instagram, check it out. Underscore pick, underscore end, the word A-N-D, underscore roll. And I found one textbook amongst the other books I bought that cost me a dollar and it shows a low rank and it shows that it sells often on Amazon and it's giving me a profit of 116 bucks. So I'll show you the scan right now. The price that's showing is comparing to an acceptable book which means it has a lot of writing and markings. The one I got is in very good condition and that's selling for 230 which would give me a profit of like 180 so on the weekends outside the store, they put a grill going, so I got a good burger for lunch. And I'm gonna go home now, and then I'll show you a few things I picked up. Okay, so from Friday, after Goodwill, the first store I went to, picked up 10 books. Nine will go to Amazon, and then one goes on eBay. The nine give me a profit of about $80. This Porsche manual will go on eBay, give me a profit of almost $20. Then the second store, got three books for another $20 profit. So that's about $120 profit from those. And I also grabbed that little D-handle, eight ounce of Pyrex measuring glass. It's number 508. It was $2 and they sell for about 15. I sold one of these about a month ago. So all said and done, it's a $10 profit. Goodwill this one, all I got was one book and I found this Pelican case. It's for a smartphone, waterproof. I paid two and only sells for like 15, but it was there and I couldn't leave it behind. Book will only bring about $3 profit. And it was one dollar and at the second store i didn't get anything either i looked through some clothing looked through their hard goods electronics but like i said a lot of that stuff is rough in there you have to really put your time in so i scanned the books and as you see i got six books it cost me three dollars and fifty cents hard covers of a dollar paperbacks are fifty cents so on scout iq these six books scan in and show a profit after fees and everything of $223. So that right there was a sweet haul. So if I add these books to the books I got on Friday, I have about $350 in profit on about $14 spent. All right, so all in all, I probably spent $16, $17 between Friday and Saturday. Didn't really find anything good. Got the Pyrex measuring cup. I got the Pelican case. And I got books, but those books are going to make me money. I enjoy the books. I probably right now only put in one day a week, maybe one day every two weeks sourcing books. Now I should be doing more and I'm probably going to step that up again because my inventory was about four or 500 and now I've been selling off. And I just went below 400. So I want to ramp it up, especially that I activated my repricer and I'm selling four five, six books every day on Amazon. Now I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but for books, that's good. And it, remember that's in addition to my eBay and my Poshmark. So it brings in a nice little side income as well. So I'm happy with that. But with these videos, I don't know. I'm thinking I need to like, change the way I do them, change my format, my style, something. I'm not trying to copy anybody else. So I've been just kind of brainstorming with myself, trying to see if I could change things. So. Maybe you'll see some change coming, hopefully. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you like this. Please subscribe if you have not already. You know what to do. And I'll see you later.